This is a unique moment in our country's history. We're facing a difficult economic times. Uh, these fiscal challenges must be met, and if we are, if we are to continue to be successful, Sturbridge is well positioned to weather these financial storms. Uh, due to our careful stewardship of the Board of Selectmen, the Town Administrator, the Finance Department, and the Finance Unit. The Board of Selectmen has accomplished a great deal over the last three years. These accomplishments include uh, the creation of a visionary cost-effective cost new biomac wastewater plan, the upgrade of our, in our ambulance service to parallel, <coughs> the acquisition of the Old, old Sturbridge Village property, the Riverlands, and the Heinz Pond, the creation of a Lakes Advisory Committee that enables us to the quality of our lakes. The preservation of the Yukon Center School and Sturbridge Town Hall. And finally, the re realization of the further school project moving forward and receiving the necessary funding from the state. I'm proud of the achievements of the board. Moving forward, our success hinges on further economic prosperity. We need to support the recent adopted 43D, a valuable tool that targets economic development. We need to maintain support for our local businesses and promote new business opportunities. We need to implement a universal tax rate to continue to catalyze on our identity to attract more tourists, encourage residents to shop locally, and support our local economy, build more fields and recreation facilities. Out of all the candidates, I am best suited to achieve these goals. I have developed a working relationship with Lieutenant Governor Murray's office, uh, Congressman Neal's office, uh, Senator Brewer's, and Representative Smolas. Uh, Representative, Representative Alicia. I, along with the Board of Selectmen, working to obtain federal stimulus money for the first storage projects, which are several shell already. Finally, my plan for the town storage is my lifelong commitment to the town. Let's continue to move forward together as we work to achieve our goals. Thank you. Thomas, um, my name is Tom Cream. First, I'd like to extend my gratitude to my wife because she um, has had to endure uh, a great deal, particularly over the last. Um, Few years and, and the last few weeks, uh, as I've been completely committed to going out and speaking to residents for the board. Uh, I'd also like to thank those individuals who took part in my nomination campaign by signing my papers, who in fact um, provided me the privilege of being here this evening. As well, I wish to offer my heartfelt thanks to the hundreds of residents I've had the opportunity to speak with over the last few weeks during my door to door campaign. I've had the privilege of knocking on 1,064 dollars over the last two weeks. And the courtesy, the hospitality, the frank discussion and dialogue that I've had has given me a clear perspective of what the people in this town really want to see. Tonight, all of us here, including the candidates, will have an opportunity to move a step closer towards the turning who our selectmen are going to be on the 13th. For some, part of that determination is going to be based upon ideologies. For some, perhaps it'll be passed uh, based upon past or present relations and still get others, perhaps upon recommendations of friends. Regardless of what's said here tonight, it is vitally important for each of us as residents to ensure that comments or statements made can be carefully, it are carefully scrutinized so that we can ensure that they withstand the test of verification. Quite simply, this town, is like our nation, will be tested over the next three years. Unemployment currently stands at 8.1%, and there are predictions of 9 10% of the event. Foreclosures have increased 225% since 2006. In 2008, 160,000 retail stores closed. It is predicted that in 2009, another 200,000 retail stores will close. Consumer spend, a benchmark of the economy, is witnessing its weakest and its lowest increase in over 47 years. This year, we faced a $200,000 shortfall in our link fill cap fund. We also face a $170,000 shortage in our road management. And that happens to be our single most utilized infrastructure in this town. Our taxes are increasing, home values are plummeting, services are being reduced or not keeping pace with the level of taxes. Decisions made over the next three years will profoundly impact our community for the next 20 years. I am running because I fully believe we need leaders who can demonstrate foresight and have the ability to proact as opposed to react to conditions on the ground. It is critical that our decisions over the next three years be based upon pragmatism and not based upon ideologies. They need to be based upon principles as opposed to personalities. Thank you. My name is Priscilla Jimmis. I've been a resident of Sturbridge for approximately 80 years. My background includes a doctorate in education leadership, extensive experience in both education and in business, and currently a high school administrator in Springfield. 
My career in administration, I have been hired into different sites to the facilitator of change. Um, one in a small school in Lowell that made that brought it to have international recognition, and now I'm working on a model program in Springfield for allied health at the high school level. Um, I know what change is and what's difficult, and it's barrier. And if you approach people in the proper way, change is not frightening. But when change is forced on anyone, it is frightening because the unknown is always fearful. It is my belief that Sturbridge can achieve the desired growth that many people want, but through balance. We have a, a town of historic significance, and we need to preserve that. And that preservation does prohibit any growth. It's, that's why I believe you can achieve growth, but with balance. As I said last year when I began this position last year, I said that I believed it then, and I believe it today, that the town of Sturbridge needs a full-time economic development coordinator. This person's function is to attract businesses to community. We have a lot of empty storefronts. I want to see those storefronts fill. I don't want to see strip malls on every corner of town that are going to end up being empty three weeks down the road. That's what I mean by balance. That's what I mean by structure. We have a lot of empty spaces. Can we put them to use? The develop an economic development coordinator's position, this is their specialty, this is their expertise. Let the experts do the job. Let someone come and help us and guide us. And many people say, well, you know what, this isn't the time because the money is tight. This is the time. This is the time that you do this. You don't not go to a doctor because money is tight. You go because you're not feeling well. In the nail economy, this one needs to give it a shot in the arm. And I do believe that this person, whoever that person would be along the way, is, is going to help us achieve this goal, help us expand our economic structure so that we can expand our tax base. We are fortunate in service that we're in a more financially secure spot than many communities are in Massachusetts. And that is because the community has been conservative in its measures throughout these years. And this, con and this conservative view has brought us to this financial security, if you will, at this point in time. Are we, are we in great shape? Perhaps not, but we're not in the shape that many communities are. We are not laid off, police are laid off, teachers are laid off. We fortunately are not seeing that. And so we're a little better off than someone else. And again, it is because of the conservative measure. I want to thank the hosts for tonight. I want to thank Warner, the citizens who came out tonight to hear the debate, and the folks at home. Well, uh, good evening, and uh, welcome to tonight's debate between uh, the performance or selectmen uh, of Sturbridge. Uh, my name is Keith Curley, Executive Vice President of Turley Publications, publisher of the Town Common newspaper, 